In my quest to cover the characters of Dragon Ball GT, there is no one quite as strange as GT Trunks. What's your name, sweetheart? Name? Well, I'm Trunkset. Trunkset, you are the cutest thing I've ever seen. Man, this guy really needs to get out more. You see, the problem here is what we got with him is not bad at all. I'd say it's actually pretty good, but there wasn't much of this character in the show. When it comes to Trunks, everyone knows Future Trunks is the best version of the character that we've seen. Excluding Dragon Ball Super's version. I swear, that's a whole different character. GT is in a strange place because this version of Trunks never had to deal with oppression or a major loss besides Vegeta dying back in the Buu Saga. However, he ended up coming back. So this version of Trunks is used to peace and the only time he really fought was when Super Buu showed up. Ready? Let's go! Gotcha, bitch! It's like Vegeta said, they've gotten very soft due to peaceful times. Both of you have begun to grow unbearably soft in these times of peace. And with Kakarot leading the search, you'll see trouble in no time. So that being said, where does GT take the character of Trunks? What is his importance? I'm glad you clicked on this video because we're going to cover just that. Let's go. In the Dragon Ball GT timeline, Trunks is the head of Capsule Corp, and the way it appears, he does not enjoy it at all. At 2 o'clock in your office, the Vice President wants to discuss a new contract. 2.30 is your video conference call to the investors from the Mechavoid Corporation. Third choice of Don't forget. Why do I even try? Constantly being annoyed by his co-workers and paperwork. He hates it so much that when he gets the chance to leave, he takes it in a heartbeat. Now, Trunks has seemed to have lost interest in fighting over the years, which to be fair, he's not like Vegeta and Goku, where fighting is their number one priority. See, Goten and Trunks were sparring partners, and once one lost interest, it's safe to say that so did the other. Goten is chasing after girls, and Trunks is now the head of Capsule Corporation so fighting is not number one on their agenda. Later on, when Pan decides to launch the ship to send the trio on the adventure to gather the seven Dragon Balls, Trunks wants to take Pan back to Earth. Now, he only feels this way because he wants to keep Pan safe. Their relationship is very unique. Why do I say this? Trunks is the one who actually restores faith in Pan and giving her back her confidence after she feels that the team doesn't value her. Pan, listen. I hope you can forgive me for suggesting that we take you back to Earth and drop you off. You're just as much a part of this team as anyone. Because the four of us are a team, and a team is reduced to nothing without all of its players. In a way, Trunks is very, very protective of Pan. Sometimes even more so than Goku is. Now, Trunks is important to this journey because he is the one who can fly the ship and understands all the Capsule Corp technology. An example of this is when the ship is about to crash and blow up on planet Emeka, and Trunks brings it to a controlled crash, keeping everybody safe in the process. Now, let's be honest. Between Goku and Pan, which one of the two would have done that? Yeah, I thought so. Now Trunks shows that he's not gonna back down from anyone. The way he does this is when Legic shows up, Trunks is the first one to attack him head on. It doesn't succeed, but you know, he still showed he was brave enough to do it. Next, we move on to the Zunama part. <laughs> But hey, he took one for the team, so I guess there's that. Did I give you too much, honey? <sighs> oh god, this is bad. On a positive note, I will say this, I would love to work for him. Did you hear how much he pays his employees? I'm not sure you're paying those guys, Trunks. My engineers? They're all making about eight figures plus benefits. Yeah, sign me up for that. <sighs> hey, hey, Goku! 
I know you had a fun time with that snake thing, but it seriously damaged our cooling system. We'll have to replenish the water tanks. Now when it comes to intelligence, I already covered how Pan is the strategist in the group, but Trunks is not far behind. Once they land on Giru's home planet, he notices right away something feels off. This is very strange. Call it intuition, but Trunks was already a step ahead. Then later on, he's the one who devised this entire genius plan with Giru to find Baby. Now sit back and just listen as I explain this the best way I can. When Rildo decides to attack Pan, he shoots a blast that could turn her into metal. Now Trunks jumps right in front of this, and in doing so, he gets captured and sent to Dr. Miyu's headquarters. Once Trunks is captured and in the facility, the rest of them get turned into metal as well. The only difference here is when Trunks gets inside the facility, Giru uses a device that turns Trunks back into himself. However, Trunks had a duplicate of his metal statue in the facility, so no one knew that the real Trunks was walking around. In fact, the only person that seems to know something was going on was Goku. So there was a plan after all. Well, I wasn't really sure at first. But then when you were turned into metal by General Rildo, something just didn't ring true about that. That's when I knew. Trunks found Baby's hideout and discovered Mew's plans to build Baby from the ground up and use him to take over the entire galaxy. Trunks and Giru had this planned out from the moment they found Giru. You see, back when they found Giru on planet Emeka, Giru had damage to his memory when they first met him. But over that time, Giru had been telling Trunks everything about his home planet. Trunks knew about Baby long before anyone else did. When I first heard this, I was blown away at just how smart Trunks really is. But then you have to remember, he is the son of Bulma and Vegeta. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea, huh? What you were doing was cruel, Pan. His life might be different than ours, but if he's struggling to survive, then we have to respect that. One thing that can be said about each of these characters is just how caring they are. Trunks teaches Pan to be kind to Giru when she first meets him. Even though he does swallow the dragon radar, Trunks values all life. When it sounds like Pan is in trouble, he jumps to save Pan over the dragon ball. Something that Goku didn't even do. She'll be okay. We better get the Dragon Balls first. Hey, that's the wrong way! I'm going for Pan. We can find the ball again using the radar, but if we lose her, we're cooked! Let's not forget that he also jumped in front of Rildo's beam to protect Pan. Proving that he's very protective of Pan, when Baby's about to crush her, when Goku has no energy left to stop him, Trunks ends up shooting Baby and stopping him, and toward the very end of the series, once Vegeta goes to fight Omega, by himself might I add, Trunks couldn't leave him to do it alone, and immediately went to fight with his father. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not the best when it comes to the power scaling, but I will tell you some of the feats that Trunks did have. When Baby tries to possess Trunks, he fights him off, showing how strong-willed he is. Albeit, Baby is too weak to possess a Saiyan's body, but nevertheless, that still says a lot about how much heart Trunks has to fight off Baby's infestation. Baby was even taken back by how powerful Trunks is. And just like Gohan, Trunks lends his power to help Goku reach his full power Super Saiyan 4 form. Also, I did like the nod to future Trunks, when GT Trunks gets attacked, it's by another Android 17. Kind of clever how they did that. I'm not sure I follow you, Gohan. We've helped them perform fusion once. Shouldn't we be able to do it again? Not much has changed. Now we move on to the Shadow Dragon arc. And this is the one that I found very confusing. Trunks is just absent until the very end. And it's extremely puzzling. Why is this? Why is he just gone when he was part of the trio from the very beginning? I get it's Goku's last hurrah and Pan is family, but Trunks was there from day one. But I guess this is what the writer wanted? I'd love to ask him about this. It just seems kind of strange to leave Trunks out of this. I'm not sure I agree with this. 
but let me know what you all think about it. Now Trunks is an amazing character. The future version is the best, but the GT version of Trunks deserves a lot of credit as well. He's not only brave and intelligent, but he's a team player. It sucks that he was cut by the end of the series, but he had a good run throughout. Let me know what you all think of Trunks down below. That's it for the four character options that were voted on, but I have a ton more GT videos to be pushed out, so make sure you guys stay tuned. I'll catch you guys next time. That's all I got.